Big Time and Showtime and Action. Welcome to the Billy Big Time Show, Ben Meehan. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me on today. So listen, uh, I like to jump right into it, and uh, we've talked a little bit, and um, and it's a great great to get to meet you and uh, get to know you a little bit. Um, you're a stud. You're a six foot, one hundred ninety pound left shot defenseman who plays in the Cedar Rapids. Uh, Rough Riders program in the United States Hockey League, the top program in the country. You just got drafted this week by the LA Kings in the fifth round, I believe 140th overall. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. And um, did, did you did you think you were going to go earlier than that? Um, I don't know. I didn't really think about it too much as far as um, where I would go in the draft. Um, but I don't know. I was just glad to go go to LA. I know that's a great spot. So I'm not sure. I, I heard a bunch of different things, but it, it worked out for the best, definitely. Yeah, I'd say LA is a pretty good spot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So listen, now I guess I'm jumping ahead too far already and getting ahead of myself. I'm just very excited to have you on my show. Who got you into hockey, Benny? Yeah. So um, growing up, my dad was the coach of Walpole High uh, hockey for a little oh, bit. Get out of yeah. here. Yeah, so for for a while there, my uncle Billy was the uh, was the head coach, and my my dad Scott was the uh, assistant. So get out, uh, yeah, 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 your bones. Yep. So when I was probably three or four years old, I was going to those games, and that's when I started to get onto the ice, um, <laughs> d- doing all that. So that my, I would say my dad was was the one who got me into hockey and got me on skates. No way. Yeah. Well, listen, I got a very good friend, Timmy Sheedy. He was the goalie at Zavarian. And I uh, was the goalie on my junior Bruins team as well. Uh, excellent, excellent goalie. Walpole has a lot of hockey history. Obviously, Mike Milbury is from there. Are, are, we the, are we missing anyone besides Milbury? Is there another NHL from uh, Walpole, I believe? Uh, I, so Wagner's in the NHL right now. Wagner's a Walpole guy. Hey, I um, knew that. And I believe Tommy Song and, um, played in the NHL as well. And I'm, he's a Walpole guy. So. Of. Yeah, good, good memory, man. And yeah. Chris Wagner, obviously a, a great kid to emulate or to, uh, you're a defenseman, obviously, but a great kid to watch. He's a, a class act and a, and a hard nosed player, and I really like his game. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. He's he's tough kid, too, so he's got that Walpole grit to him. Yeah, Walpole is uh, known for their football team, actually. Also, um, uh, they had uh, Todd Collins, I believe, was the quarterback when I was growing up, um, and um yeah, I think they have a, a, had an a extremely powerful program for football over the years. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a real sports town. So, listen, get us get us going in, into youth hockey. What are you playing, Walpole Youth Hockey? I know it's different now. It used to be youth hockey and then Metro and then house leagues. How was it now for you growing up? Yep. So, um, I actually started out with our rival town, the Norwood Nuggets. Um, so, I was, oh, I was playing. Oh, how come? So, um, Norwood played Norwood. And Walpole actually played out of, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but it, it was further. It was just a further drive. And it was only for a year. I, I played for the Nord Nuggets. I was probably, it was many, many mites, so five or six years old. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then from there, I, I played for the South Shore Kings growing up uh, in youth hockey. I was also an alumni from the South Shore Kings. Yep. What a great program. Um, uh, you, so, do you know the levels at all uh, from Norwood? Because they, they, they're family out of Norwood. I, and Timmy Level was an uh, incredible hockey player. Yeah, I, I know them a little bit. Uh, not too close with them, but I know um, – play. I think I played against um, his kid a little bit. I know he's really good. He's at uh, BC this year as a freshman. So, I know them a little bit. And going over to Level Sports Shop, uh, how to get my skate sharp and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, Mr. Level was my assistant coach on the Junior Bruins. He was always super good to me. and. Um, and I uh, taught me a lot. And um, so, listen, you, you're out of Norwood now, and you're playing Walpole Youth Hockey. And, and when did you start to play, like, uh, travel with the South Shore Kings and whatever else? Um, yeah, so I played – I think – so the first year I was actually I'm – a, I'm a 2001-born player. I was an alternate for the OO South Shore Kings for okay. one year. And okay. then when I was probably six or seven, I would say I started playing for the O1s. Um, and I played maybe seven or eight seasons there. Um, that's where I played most of my you play with the South Shore Kings now. No more, no more. Kids don't play town hockey anymore, right? No, nah, it's mostly the league uh, that I played in uh, was the EHF. That's what the league was called um, when I was playing. And we had a really competitive team. We had a bunch of great, great players um, from that team. Um, but, and I uh, put, but, name some of those guys on that team because I think the, like uh, there's a bunch of kids that got drafted off. I think um, 
I believe I read an article that six kids from the Social Kings uh, program got drafted. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe so. We had uh, Matty Boldy was a was a first rounder last year. Um, Struble yep. was a second rounder. Uh, Boldy's at BC. Struble's Northeastern. Uh, Colangelo was a second rounder this year. He's at Northeastern as well. Um, I'm sure I'm drawing a blank. Obviously myself. So where did you go to high school? Uh, so I ended up playing um, my U14 year. So after the South Shore Kings, I played U14 uh, Boston Junior Eagles while, while I was a freshman at Wolf High School. Yeah, I don't know that program. Who's your coach there? Yep. So I was coached by Marty McGinnis growing up uh, with the South Shore yeah. Kings, and um, he, he kind of brought me over to uh, the Boston Junior Eagles as well. So. That kid's a stud, and what a what a tremendous person. Um, his mom was friends with my mom growing up, and um, I got to know Marty over the years, and um, he was really close with another friend of ours, uh, the Green family, Danny Green. Um, so, wow, you got lucky there, because he he's there's no one better, you know. He's better, no better guy, no better play, great great all around person. Yeah, he he was the best. He was actually the first person I uh, texted right after the draft, and. I just told him I can't thank him enough for everything he's done for me. I would say he's probably been the most influential uh, coach that I've had over the years. He's been he's been awesome. Why wow, you just gave me chills? Keep talking, buddy. Yeah. So from from there, um, I actually did play a little bit for Wolpel High School. Um, I played my freshman year there. I think I ended up with eight games that year um, while also playing for the Boston Junior Eagles. Um, and then from there, I went to Dexter. I out there and how'd you feel out there in public high school hockey? Were you dominating as a freshman? Um, I wouldn't say I was dominating. I was a top pair guy, but we had, we played some pretty good other schools, and obviously I was the youngest guy, so it was it was a lot of fun though. Um, we had we had a great group of guys I remember, and I re, I really enjoyed being the being the freshman and and all that, so it worked out well. Um, but yeah, that that was a good experience. Then from there, I went over to Dexter Prep, where I played for Danny Donato, uh, for three years. Another tremendous hockey player. Yeah, yeah. So I lucked out. But yeah, that was a, that was a fun three years, and then that actually led right up to uh, Cedar Rapids last year. And who was your coach out there, bud? Uh, in Cedar Rapids, I played for Mark Carlson. Okay, and yeah. is he? Does he have a hockey background? Or yeah, is, is... yeah. So pretty interesting. He actually played with my dad here at UMass Lowell, and and Carly's an no. unbelievable coach too. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of connections. Um, but, yeah, Carly was awesome. He's a great motivator and a really good coach as well. Well, you've had some tremendous coaches. I, I, it's a no wonder uh, you, you're, you're going to uh, be L.A. King's uh, uh, top prospect in, in, in the years to come and, and playing in the NHL and, and living out your dream. So, listen, was it always your dream to play hockey and was it always your dream to play in the NHL and get drafted and everything? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I played baseball as well for a while pretty competitively um it, through my uh, freshman year at Dexter um but I, I think I knew I wanted to be a hockey player I've always loved hockey and I don't know, I'm just glad it worked out the, the way it's going so yeah it's really tough for guys uh for, for guys like us uh, from around the South Shore and in, in, in Massachusetts and in, in with the, the cold weather to really get uh when they're to compete with the other leagues and the other baseball players in the world um I, baseball was a big sport of mine too growing up. So listen, I want to take you from uh, Walpole High to Dexter. Was that was that a big jump, or, or did you fit right in with Dexter as a sophomore? Did you repeat uh, a year? What did you do there? Yep. So I repeated my freshman year over at Dexter. Um, that was definitely a big jump. Prep school is is very competitive. I think. Do so. that for kids, by the way. If if you you know because it's you know sometimes um um. Like they helped my brother back, and and, and then it, like he was just killing people in football. So I was like, wow, that's like a real advantage to go in be a 19 year old uh, uh, senior or whatever a PG. Uh, did you feel like you are um, uh, it needed to stay back here, or did you did, did you just do that for an advantage kind of? Um, well, it was interesting how it worked out because I just did it just in case I, I needed that extra year. But what ended up happening is I. Uh, I did my second freshman year at Dexter, my sophomore year. And then um, after the hockey season in my junior year, I actually reaccelerated back into my regular class back at Walpole High School. So I, I actually started at Walpole High School my freshman year and ended there my senior year just to graduate and get back into my regular class. So, so now you're not taking classes out in Cedar Rapids or you're taking college classes? What are you doing out there? Yeah, so I'm at, I'm at UMass Lowell right now. I'm a freshman, so we're, uh, we're starting classes. Everything's online. We don't have any students on, um, on campus other than the athletes. Um, so we're just kind of doing our thing, working out, skating, preparing for the season and, and all that. 
So you went from a, a, a junior year at Dexter to a senior year at Walpole, uh, and then jumping into to, uh, uh, after graduating, jumping over to, to the USHL? Yep. So um, the, what was it, 18, nine, yeah, so 2018-19 was my junior year at Dexter. And let's say, so that, that season finished up in March. I actually yep. went back to Walpole High School yep. um, right after in, in March to be a senior. So you, then I so graduated. You graduated basically yep. that. So yes, you were done with high school and you were, you were free of everything to play in the USHL. And what did you take, some community college courses or something? Or, or did uh, you just no, I, I just actually, hockey? yeah, just focus on hockey. I, I took a whole year off from, from school, um, which I think I needed it. It was really fun. I loved that experience out in, out in Cedar Rapids. And I think it really prepared me for my freshman year here at Lowell. And Lowell's got a, quite a program, Mom. They were like a, 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 a not a strong program when I was growing up. Um, tough to attract players. Um, um, I believe it turned around uh, when they brought Bruce Crowder in and, and, and it started to, uh, he started to bring in more Canadians and uh, they really had more of an identity as a, as a, uh, the, you know, the redheaded stepchild type of identity going into every game as the underdog and, um, and scratching and clawing and getting good players. And um, they always had good goalies, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's programs like uh, Lowell and Northeastern and uh, some of these programs now. It's, it's funny how it's turned. The kids talk about stuff like that in the USHL, like who's coaching, who's the good coaches. Do they talk about where, you know, because it, it seems like uh, BC used to get all the kids and BU used to, and it doesn't seem like that anymore. Can you tell us about what you think? Yeah, so sure. So I think Hockey East is, is pretty strong in general. Um, obviously, I'm biased. I grew up going to all Hockey East games, and, and I'm going to be playing Hockey East this year. But I think BC and BU are still very competitive. I, I know Northeastern is as well, but I don't think it's too top-heavy. I think there's a lot of competitive teams, and it should be pretty deep. Yeah, much more parity. So so your jump from Dexter to the USHL, can you tell us, like, like for the kids that don't know, because um, – what's it like to play in the USHL? I know this, they got the fans. Um, tell us about the USHL compared to like, you know, prep school hockey and uh, PG hockey or whatever. Yeah. So I think it's just a bigger, faster, stronger game, if that makes sense. Um, well, I think it's a, yeah. It's, it's just a, it's a, it's a jump hockey wise. And then there's definitely a, an element of uh, fans and, and the atmosphere and, and uh, all that type of stuff, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. I enjoyed that a lot, actually playing in front of a packed house, and we we had a really good uh, rank and a really good uh, fan base in Cedar Rapids. So it was actually it was a ton of fun. I think that's that's the best decision I ever made was was going out there and, and playing for Coach Carlson in Cedar Rapids. So yeah, I'd recommend to any kid that that has that opportunity to to go play in that league. So so what what was the jump like? Say say you're at like a six, or say say like ten is the NHL, right? And you're at and you're at Walpole High. That's like a say that's a three, right? And now we're at you know uh, Dexter. That's a five. So what's the jump? Like how much more faster and more intense and more physical is it, Benny? Tell the kids because a yeah. lot of kids don't get to experience. Um, you know, I went to camp out in uh, Omaha. Uh, Sioux City had my rights. Um, so when I went to the USHL, I had to go to Sioux City. I went there for six games. I wasn't staying in Sioux City. Um, um, I had a great game in Omaha, Sean Walsh. I was still trying to get into, um, uh, Maine was the last school. I was really trying to just get into anywhere. And, uh, he walked by me after one of the games. We talked to some other guys. I said, you know, no one's going to take me. I got to go to the OHL here. Um, what did you think? Like, uh, the, did you ever get to see a game before you played in that league? Or, I mean, the, my first game, uh, I was like, fuck, this is a good league. Cause they had Jason Blake for Waterloo. Uh, he was an LA King. He played for a lot of teams. That kid could fly, and he could. He was a hell of a hockey player. That kid, um, and and that's what I remember. The first game, I was like, "Ooh, okay, I better, I better, I better step my game up." Um, you know, I better be sharp. You know, I better, I better be more prepared. You know, stuff like that. Is there anything, any moments like that for you? Yeah, I, I definitely had a crazy first experience um, out there. I, the year before I went out, I. Um, I went out for one week and I watched a couple of games and Cedar Rapids was playing Waterloo, which was their rival. And um, there was a five on five full on brawl uh, after the first goal. And it was also teddy bear toss night. So all the fans were throwing teddy bears onto the ice while there was a five on five brawl. I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm going to be playing in this next and year. Now, were, were they going at it hard or were they just hanging on? 
Uh, no, I would say at least three pairs of guys were going at it hard, and maybe there's a couple pairs of guys just hanging on, but it was crazy. You know, for the kids that don't know, you know, are you guys wearing half shields, full cage? What are you wearing out there? Yeah, so the USHL is uh, half shields, just uh, the visors. Okay, now also I wanted to ask you, I was thinking, um, did, you, did you ever get asked to go to the development program or, or anything like that, or did you ever try out for that or anything like that? Uh, no, I know they have that 40-man camp. Um, that would have been after my freshman year at Dexter. Um, Tell us about that. I don't know what that is. Because when I was a kid, they had um, they split it up into three camps. Like, uh, some kids would go to um, – I mean, I think at the end it was two camps. One, one group of kids would go to New York, and then you get picked to go to Colorado or something. Is it something similar? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly just because I, I didn't make that 40-man. But I know one of my buddies, Matty Bold, is who I played with. Um, <laughs> For, uh, at Dexter, he, he went out there and, and did really well out there. So I believe that they take maybe 40 guys and uh, have a tryout or whatever and then then pick their team from from there. And my age group is really strong. The O1s had a, had a really good team. So so I, I, I kind of talk too much sometimes in these interviews, and I apologize if I, if I do. Uh, I'm doing my best, but uh, it's my job to ask you questions. So what's it – What I forgot to get an answer out of you. What's it like to jump from Dexter to the USHL? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry about that. I would say um, if, if the NHL is a 10 and, and prep is a five, I'd probably say it's um, maybe a, a seven or a seven and a half. I, I definitely think it's a pretty decent, decent it's jump. A big jump then. It is a big jump. And that's nothing against prep school. I think prep school hockey is the best high school hockey hands down in, in our country. But I think the USHL is, um, is just that much of a jump. Well, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, ju the junior route is, is the way to go. I mean, it's always been the way to go. It's just it was never available to the American kids. So, Benny, also, as a, as a pers personally, uh, what do you think your strongest part of your hockey game is? Um, yeah, I think, I think I skate well, and I think I see the ice well. Um, I, I know I'm a, I'm a two-way player. Um, have two, Benny. Okay, I'll go with uh, – I think I pass the puck well. Your first pass or all the passes? Um, all the passes, but I definitely take pride in the first pass, no question. Stay off your back end, kiddo. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what do you need to work on? Um, I would say I'd like to keep working on my hands a little bit, be able to dangle a little bit more. Um, okay, well, we don't, we don't want you to dangle. We want you to bring it with you. Just yeah. bring it with you. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Listen, also, what are you most like, excited about for this upcoming season at Lowell? Are you guys going to be playing? What's going on? Yeah, I believe we'll have a season. I think it looks good. Um, I know college football is playing. So, um, yeah, I definitely think we're, we're preparing for a season. We're expecting to have a season. And um, I think we, we're going to have a really good team this year, actually. Um, I know. Tell us about that, please. Yeah, so they, they had a great team last year. They were right around the top 10 in the country. And I know the returners, we have a lot of great returners and we have a great freshman. I think I back. Um, I would say. I think they lost maybe one D and two or three forwards maybe. And I know they lost their goalie as well. And they had a really good goalie from, from last year. Um, he's with New York now in, in that organization, but um, I know the goalies we have this year are going to be really good as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Can you tell us the name of your coach? Uh, Norm Bezens our, our, is our head coach here at Lowell. And he's a, he's an awesome coach as well. Well respected. And uh, yeah, yeah. He's very well respected. You look a little bit like him. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I want to thank you for coming on. Is there anything you want to ask me, buddy? Uh, no, I, I, I would just say I appreciate you letting me come on, and um, thank you for, thank you for this. No, I, I mean, I, I appreciate you coming on my show, and I want to thank you, and uh, it's been an honor. And, um, you know, I know me and Jackie were very excited for this interview. Um, we want to wrap up by talking about your friend Will Francis and uh, him getting cancer and uh, being – your biggest fan. He's been uh he's been pumping your tires and um and I was like uh yeah he well anyways he sent a very nice message last night. He said uh about how you guys basically were making music together as um as D partners. He he gave you nothing but a praise and um he said you guys complimented each other perfectly and um and I'm really honored to have such classy, awesome guys um like yourselves who are up and coming leaders in this world and um and leaders in the community and leaders on your hockey teams and um i can just tell right away when i when i looked at you and i heard about your story um and what a good kid you were and, and just this interview and i'm just like blown away um and humbled by uh by you joining me and um 
and I hope to uh, I hope to see you play soon. And um, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart again for coming to my show. Yeah, thanks again. And I just want to say um, for Franny, I'm expecting a full recovery, and he's going to be back better than ever. So I'm looking forward to seeing him back on the ice. Willie Francis and Benny the Jet Man. Benny the Jet Man. Watch out for Benny the Jet Man at Yule all this year and the LA Kings soon to come. Thank you, Benny, man. I love you, buddy, and great interview. All right, I love it. I appreciate it. Thanks, Billy. Benny the Jet, there he is, folks. All right, talk soon.